that is probably why this is not working. What is going on today, guys? My name's Alex. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be ripping the rear cover off this rear differential, and we're gonna see what's going on with this G80, like I promised you guys. If you're just tuning in, I bought this truck with a G80 locker in the rear, and it is not locking up. So we are gonna see what's going on back here, what's going on with the diff, so stay tuned. One thing to note with this style of differential, where you gotta pull the cover off to drain it, always make sure you can get your fill plug out um, because it's not gonna do you much good if you take the cover off and you don't have a way to fill this thing. So always make sure the fill plug comes out. <laughs> um, but no, so we'll take these 14 bolts out, I believe they're half inch. Um, and then we will try and pry this cover off. See what happens. Ah, oh, there it is. That's no key. That looks really healthy there, guys. Oh my god. I told you. That's disgusting. Is that one bolt left on the top or? Yeah, yeah. I just keep it in there just right so if it pops the whole cover doesn't come all the way off. Because I've had that happen before and that's always... You're like, oh Jesus! That doesn't even smell like diff fluid, man. That's actually terrible. I don't know how this thing is coming. Oh, it is a G80. Oh. Okay, guys. So we do have a G80 locker in this differential, which is awesome news. Um, that fluid that came out was disgusting. Um, it looked like it's been in there for a long time. Probably some water's got in there, some condensation over the years, and it's just made it a soupy mess. So yeah, this is the G80 um, governor setup here. And these little flyweights, if you guys can see, they kind of expand here as these spider gears rotate. So I think it's like 100 RPMs or something and these things will fly open. And what they will do is they will hit this lever and that is supposed to lock up the spider gears and the carrier forcing both wheels to turn at the same time. So that's what this is all about. And as far as I can tell, it looks like it's all working half decently. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin these wheels and you guys are going to be able to tell what's going on here. Okay guys, I don't know if you can see this, but see, so this is a flyweight here obviously. And this is the gear that spins it. One of the teeth on here is missing and cracked off. That is probably why this is not working. Watch this. It should rotate with the wheels. See how it doesn't rotate because it's missing a gear? That is why this G80 locker does not work. Very interesting. Okay, well. I guess we know what we need to fix. All right guys, so that is what is wrong with the G80 locker in my truck. I'm gonna have to figure out uh, what kind of parts I need, how exactly to go over the, that repair. If I need to take the whole carry out just to fix that little tooth, I might as well throw some new clutch packs in there um, because those probably are not the greatest, especially with the, uh, the fluid that came out of this diff um, that you guys saw, so we'll see. I got some research to do, but at least we know what the issue is with this truck and with this rear diff. I just slapped the cover on, 
Uh, some new silicone, some new oil in there. I work at a shop, so that stuff's pretty much free, so no big deal. When I figure out what parts I need and if I am gonna redo the clutch packs, um, we will take this back apart, take the carrier out and fix what we need to fix. And then we can do some testing to make sure that this thing is working awesome. Anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to leave that like. And if you like stuff like this, don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to have you on board, but uh, anyways, We'll see you in the next freaking video.